Hey guys, thanks for joining us back at the Chow House. If you've been following us along recently, I had my chef buddy Yang from YouTube channel Peaceful Dinner over, and we did a fishy collaboration filmed at my place. He broke down like four whole fish, including this beautiful salmon. We had a few drinks, had a good time, and now the product of that will be showing you how to make a very tasty salmon poke bowl. Soy sauce based sauce, quality salmon, fresh avocado all over a bed of white rice. So let's get right into it. Into a medium sized bowl we'll put in about a tablespoon's worth of finely minced yellow onion and also about a tablespoon's worth of finely chopped green onion or chives. Then we'll add a half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of furikake, and furikake is a Japanese seasoning that is typically added over rice. It's usually made out of a combination of dried fish, sesame seeds, dry seaweed, salt, and sugar, and can be found in most Asian supermarkets. And then also two tablespoons of regular soy sauce, one tablespoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of sesame oil. And that is it for the sauce. If you like it spicy, you can add some optional red chili flakes, uh, but other than that, just stir it up a little bit to dissolve the sugars and salt, and then just set it aside in the fridge for later. And while we watch Yang break down this beautiful farm-raised, top-of-the-line New Zealand Aura King Salmon, I want to talk about how to buy salmon for raw consumption. I mean, that's what poke is, right? Salmon is a type of fish that are susceptible to parasites which can make you sick. So typically what you'll see at the grocery stores or fish markets are salmon that are labeled as sushi grade, farm raised, or wild. And although there are no actual regulations in place to determine if a fish is quote sushi grade, the Food and Drug Administration does have guidelines in place for the proper handling procedures of fish meant for raw consumption, such as salmon poke. This usually involves a freezing process that the fish will undergo before being sold that will kill any potential parasites. If a fish is labeled as sushi grade, it can be assumed that the salmon or fish were handled following these guidelines. And with that said, the FDA also published an article on their website with this statement. Basically saying most farm-raised salmon is pretty much safe to eat. So if you're at the market and debating whether or not to pay the premium price of salmon labeled as sushi grade, or if you want to buy something cheaper that's still farm raised, just keep that in mind. It's all up to you and your budget and what you're comfortable with. Also, if a salmon is labeled as sushi grade, it can also be assumed that the salmon itself is of a higher quality breed of salmon. Higher fat content, beautiful color, and sustainably raised. Like this Aura King salmon from New Zealand. It's also part of the premium price of something labeled as sushi grade fish. I guess you can compare it to buying a Wagyu beef. And with all that said, get your salmon and cut it into little cubes, about half an inch thick around. And I also like to add some avocado to my poke bowls. It adds a nice freshness and creaminess. The way I like to cut my avocados is get a nice ripe one, split it down the middle, whack your knife into the seed, twist, pull it out, and then cut the avocado into quarters. Peel the skin off before cutting the avocado into similar sized cubes as the salmon. I just saw an avocado farmer do it like this instead of doing the scooping method. I don't know, I just, it seems easy enough. And now that everything's prepped, we need to assemble everything together. Mix in the sauce with the salmon, add in some optional fish roe if you like. Put everything over a bed of rice and it's all good. I recommend only putting the sauce on the salmon right before serving because the salt does some weird stuff to the salmon texture over time. But other than that, it's all ready to be served. Thank you guys for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed watching Yang and I cooking together. And that's what this channel is really all about, sharing food and recipes with each other. I learned a lot of useful information while making this video. If you have any questions about what we made today, feel free to ask them in the comments. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. It really uh, keeps the channel going. And also check out Yang's video um, and his channel, Peaceful Dinner. There's some pretty good stuff on there, so... Uh, yeah, until then, um, until next time, yeah, see you guys later.